Hi, I'm Devin, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Stessa dashboard. So we talked to a lot of rental property owners. Most of them have built their own Excel spreadsheets. Some use Google Sheets to keep track of all the key stats and understand how their portfolio is doing, what their budgets look like, etc. So we've distilled this into a slick dashboard that rolls all that up for you automatically, does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So once you log into your account, you'll see the dashboard page. This is the portfolio view. So this rolls up all properties in a given portfolio. You can easily cycle through each property up here if you want through this dropdown. Right here, you've got portfolio valuation, which is based on your valuation settings for each underlying property. You can also quickly toggle to the price you paid. This adds up everything for the portfolio. Next, you've got a rough asset return number. So this is appreciation, basically um, current valuation, less price you paid, less CapEx. So this shows the raw number here that's being used in the calculation for the uh, numerator. Uh, the denominator obviously is the, uh, your, the sum of the price you paid. This number will decline to the extent you have capital expenses, so it does take that into account for you. You can also toggle over to levered right here and see the effect of, of your debt. Uh, this keeps track of your occupancy, which can be helpful for larger portfolios. Uh, this is not weighted by square footage. It assigns uh, equal value to each unit, so that's important to keep in mind. Over here, you've got your total budgeted, projected uh, income based on the underlying rent rolls for each property. Total debt over here, number of properties, number of units, and then your projected net cash flow uh, after all expenses, uh, after your mortgage. Now, keep in mind that all of these tiles up here track budgeted pro forma expenses, with the exception, obviously, of your portfolio value, which is based on actual valuations. To track actual expenses, from your transactions page, which is available here in the left nav, you'll use this net cash flow chart. So this pulls in all the data automatically, plots it on this solid blue line here. The dotted line is your pro forma budget. So it's a great way to easily compare how you're doing uh, on an actual basis versus budget. Everything in red is operating expenses, including uh, debt. CapEx will also show up there in red since this is a net cash flow report. Uh, at the bottom of the dashboard here, you have a quick donut chart showing uh, rent roll projected income by property. It's great for larger portfolios and a quick map that plots each address for you. Now, up here, you can switch to the dashboard view for any particular property, and we'll show you that looks a little bit different. You've still got the market value here, which you can quickly edit through this button if you like. That takes you straight over to the property details page which we'll cover in a separate video. You've also got uh, your appreciation here, same calculation as we saw on the portfolio dashboard. You've got your effective cap rate. So this is an automatic calculation based on your rent roll and current value. You can toggle it over to the price you paid if you prefer to see it that way through this button right there. Uh, this calculates your gross rent multiplier uh, this is obviously implied based on your rent roll and your current valuation. Total projected income per month, net operating income per month. So this takes into account uh, operating expenses, but not financing, so not debt costs. Debt costs are then added into your net cash flow number, which is this number right here. And that's uh, obviously on a projected pro forma basis as well and then you've got occupancy for the property. So to compare actuals data to the pro forma numbers, same thing as on the portfolio view, you can do that here through the net cash flow by month chart. Uh, you can also um, see each of these by month with a mouse over, it gives you the breakdown so you can understand what's going on with each of these numbers. This is also a great way to find uh, an expense that you might have missed, or uh, maybe you didn't log rent Looks like maybe we missed rent for this month, so that's a good way to go back and make sure all your data is in order. Further down on the property dashboard, 
uh, you've got some helpful pie charts here that show uh, all of your data and then all of those are clickable and uh, take you through to the source data on the property details page. That's another good way to kind of troubleshoot and make sure all your data is in there in the place where it should be.